morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk, and I'm shooting out another video log to my Linux students. And what I want to do in this particular video log for my Linux students is pretty much show them how to upload their files. Now, earlier, I sent a video out to my basic Linux students showing them how to upload their files, but now I'm going to shoot this video out to my advanced Linux students. I also want to express a couple of things. So I'm going to send this also to my basic Linux and my advanced Linux. So both of them can look at this and really get a bird's eye view of where they are actually headed with Linux. What you see on the screen is basically what the latter two courses will be working on. This is where you really get to learn Linux. In the first two classes, you basically don't learn Linux from the point of view of an individual who's actually turning out commands, learning the commands. I feel that's important so you can begin to really get an understanding of Linux, but you don't have to be troubled with all the different systems that you'll work with. These guys who in these latter two courses, they are really going through some because now they see that they have to learn how to manage different systems. So they're going to be jumping from one system to the next system to the next system. And that's the real world of being a system administrator. And you have to be able to handle that. You can't get confused. You can't get upset. You got to dig in and pull out that good person, that person who really wants to learn this. But with that, let me show you what all four of these courses look like. Okay, now we have four courses that leads up to a certificate. As you can see right here, CIS 118 is the Linux operating system. In that course, all I'm trying to do is get you to understand how, let me say that again, how to interpret and understand the commands. You type in a command, there is an action. You type in another command, there is an action. I'm not putting you into an environment where there's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving objects. I'm putting you in an environment where you can just focus on learning commands. And I told the students in the beginning, I said, this is all about learning commands, learn your commands. Because when you get to the next, the latter two classes, you may feel a little shook up, but you have mastery over your commands. The next course here, Advanced Linux Operating System, it goes a little bit more deeper into learning commands, but these first two classes, it's you isolated onto a machine and you typing in commands and you watching the response and your whole goal is to simply remember those commands. Now, do I expect you to remember all of them? No, <laughs> but I do expect you to know how to reference them and go get them. Some guys got books, some, got, some of them can go to the internet. You need to know how to reference the commands and go get them. But also remember, in the latter two classes, I'm gonna start you back off at the beginning, but then I'm gonna move you quickly into the advanced Linux classes. And you can see these here. This class here deals with the system administrator, the person who is administrating the Linux operating system in a corporation. This person here is dealing with the system and the network of administrating a Linux application in an in a actual corporate world. So now we take you to the enterprise level. All four of these courses together ends up with a certificate. Now, if you need to talk more, me, talk to me more about this, just hit me up in the email and we'll talk more about this, okay? But I wanna see everybody get the certificate because most importantly, we wanna lead you up to getting your first Linux certification. Let's go back to the slideshow. Okay, now we're back at the slideshow. Now, like I said earlier, for the individuals who are in the latter two classes, the system administrator class and the network administrator class, these individuals will be diving deeper off into this world here. When you met working with moving, moving parts, multiple moving parts. So you're gonna be working with the Bastion uh, server. You're gonna be working with server A. You're gonna be working with server B. 
you're gonna have a workstation like most system administrators in the real world they sitting at a workstation they're not walking around touching and filling the servers they sitting at a workstation and they going through switches that's out there and different types of networks that's out there okay and you may be in chicago but fixing a system in new york so you have to learn how to be a remote user of linux and that's what they learn it now ideally we hope we hope that they're not panicking they're not breaking down they understand that hey this is what the real world of linux is all about and i'm all for it and i'm digging in deep they are i'm just throwing some little shade right there but anyway let's move on a couple of things i want you to remember now for all of the students, I want you to know what a kernel is. The kernel is actually the system, okay? It's actually code that's written to have this operating system do things, and we call it the kernel. The kernel allows all the devices to connect to it, and it gives them commands. So you give the kernel instructions, and then the kernel execute those instructions to the different pieces. Of the system also I want you to learn about the different distributions out there and we're gonna talk more about that as we travel through the class it's a whole lot of different Linux operating systems out there but we don't say it's a lot of different Linux operating systems out there we just say there's different distributions. you to focus though on the different distributions okay now the kernel just simply manages all the devices on the system and the shell is where you type in co commands to have the kernel executed as you can see provides for interaction between the user and the computer now don't get stuck on this because you're not gonna go in the world and they be talking about what is the kernel what is the shell no what you will need to do is make sure you can manage the system that's important because these are the pieces that is really important in the Linux world. So don't get caught up on this. It's good to know though. Don't chuck it to the side. They say, Professor, what do you manage? These are the things that you manage. You, you, you act like the traffic controller, but I like to reference, you really are acting like an individual who's driving a manual car. When you're driving a manual car, you in full control of the car's speed, you are full control over the machine because you shifting in different gears. You take control over that system. But when you're in an automatic car, you just get in and turn on the key and the thing move. It's been time that I turn on my automatic and just take my foot off the brake after I shifted and drive and that car taking off. But with a actual manual car, you have to put it in gear and you have to make it move so you in control of it just think of it like that you're gonna have a lot of applications that that make requests to the kernel uh, you may ask an application to pull some up bring some down etc etc so just know that you have applications you have devices that you are in control of that the kernel executes your commands to those particular devices Linux is open source, and that's what makes it so dynamic. So, and you're gonna get a chance to learn all of that in this class. I talked about distributions, and it's a it's a multitude of distributions, and I'm gonna show you all of them. But in our program, this is the sweetness of our program. You learn Ubuntu Linux, you learn CentOS Linux, and then you end up learning red hat linux and then this is at least this is for my red hat students soon they are now going to the point where they learning red hat the more distributions you learn the better you got an understanding of the wider world of linux because it's a lot going on with linux so i like to make sure that a student leave out our program with three distributions under their belt they can have a general knowledge and when somebody asks, do you know Ubuntu? Yeah, just do so you know, I know Ubuntu, I know CentOS, I know Red Hat. We're 15 minutes into this particular presentation. Now I wanna go in there and stop the talking, type in a few commands, and from those commands, 
we're going to save them the way I need them to be saved so you can upload them to me and I can see the actual work that you do. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now when you're going through the Linux program, this is what you will see. All you have to simply do is read the information. Reading is fundamental. Okay, as you click next in here, I just showed you this. This particular page is going to show you how to set up and move around within the Red Hat environment. Okay, so let's go ahead and click next. Now, this here is the basics of what is Linux. Uh, it tells you a lot about Linux and you get to know that Linux is open source. Some things I already had a discussion with you, but when you get in the chapter, you will notice that you have quizzes within here. Do every one of these quizzes because these quizzes are compiled together to be major exams for you. And I'm gonna show you what that exam is after we get through these first three chapters. Remember, you got the first three chapters this week. And then it gives you a little summary of what you learned. Now that's chapter one in a nutshell. When you come to your course here, you are gonna notice in here that there is an exam in here. And that exam covers three important parts of the chapter. Okay, so these first three parts of your chapter, you are gonna see that exam sitting in here for you to take it. So make sure you take those quizzes do not skip bound, but it's on you. Buyer beware. Now you come to chapter two. In chapter two, it's going to walk you through how to use the Linux commands. It's going to tell you about the different parts to the bash uh, shell, which that's what we're in now. We're in the bash shell, and that's the part we use. As you can see here, you're going to know what the bash shell is and why we use that version of the bash shell instead of the other versions. And then you're gonna learn how to remote into the system. So we're gonna do some of this in the class, but as you complete this, you are gonna have a basic understanding of how to use some commands within the system. Do every command, do not skip one. But as you completely go through these steps, each one, you're going to come to a This is where I'm about to demonstrate a lab in this course. So in this next piece, I'm going to walk through each one of these commands, executing them, and also what will happen is then I'm going to show you how I want you to save and present that material to me so I can give you a grade. And then you'll know. You'll be in the know. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. Let's get ready to do it. Okay, now we are in an environment where you will be doing your work. As a student right now, you should have your NetLabs account set up and you should be ready to go in here and start doing your Linux work. Remember, people, you should have your Red Hat account established and ready to go. If you don't have it, it's your fault. Get in contact with me. It's on you. Okay, so how do I set up my Linux environment? The first thing to do is I want to register for a session to do work. So, as you saw, I just clicked on the link that accesses me to come here to choose my class and register for a session. I also will click on this link here and then I will set up a session that I want to start. Now I said it earlier to all students, make sure you click right below that link to get started and going. So I'm going to click right there and then I'm going to give myself enough time. You can change the time here. I'm going to put that on there just to give me an hour. Hopefully I won't need it. I don't think I will, but I'm going to put it on there and then I'm going to click submit. Now what did I do? I set up some time where I can go in here and work on the lab that will help me learn how to utilize the commands of Linux inside of what we call a contained environment because we don't want you all out there. But I want to show you how to get this stuff up and going for those who don't know. So I'm going to enter in here and as you can see the first thing I always tell students to do is check the status. 
because you want to make sure all your devices are turned on. Now, my other Linux students, they working with other devices, devices, my basic students, but the advanced students, as they can see, they got one environment to go in. They're going to come back to the topology. Then you have the content here. Now this content, I want you to download because you're gonna use it in every one of your Linux classes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is download the content right here. And that way I'll be able to utilize this content to do my work. Now to all of my students out there, you should know how to download this content. No excuses. Okay, and I'm going to put my last name on this content because I want to make sure that I get the most appropriate up-to-date content. Now watch what I do. Now that I have that content, I'm going to open up a Word doc, a blank Word document. Okay, I'm going to open up a blank Word document. I'm coming here, File, New Doc and I'm going to open that up. Now, I'm going to stretch this document out because I want it to be wider. Now watch what I do. I'm going to go to print. For those of you who don't have Word, you got to do it another way, but you get my point. I'm going to go to here and then I just open up the margins of this particular document. Now I'm just going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to say um, open browse go to my downloads on the uh, desktop well, let me check and see if it's on the desktop yes there it is right there okay let's open that up now as you can see I open this document up inside of a word doc and I'm gonna push this document over to the desktop because I want to use that document for something else and I'm gonna come back to this syllabus okay so I'm gonna come now back to the status and go back to the topology. Okay, so I have my document here on the other on the other side of the screen because I need to execute some commands. Now this video may be a little longer, so you may have to break it down to make sure that you can cover it all of it in one sitting. But just make sure you go through the whole video. Don't shortchange yourself. I'm going to go ahead and click on here and start my Linux server and then I'm going to type here. Now here I have to put in a red hat. As my Linux students, you know what the password is. So I'm going to type in a password and that should activate the account. As you can see, the account is activated now. So I just turned on my system and there's my background right there. Okay. It's a few more things I have to do that's on this document. So I want you to watch me closely because as a student, you have to do it to get the document up and running. So make sure you read the document. So the next command I'm going to type in here is I'm going to go to the terminal. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and click activities and activities is going to open this window up for me. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my terminal. Okay, once I put that in, I'm going to type in a command that I need to get my different servers up and running. Now watch this, watch this carefully. So I'm going to type in rht-vmctl or i-s-t-a-r-t to start them and all. Now watch what happens. As you can see, my Bastion server is coming up, my workstation is coming up, server A, server B, they all are up and running, okay? And that particular command right here is what is allowing me to access those different servers. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to go to my workstation, so I'm going to type in, I'm going to SSH in there, and if I was an employee of a company, you see me typing in student, but that would be my name that I'm typing in. And I'm going to type in the other credentials to get this up and running. Okay, so now you're going to watch this exchange over. And I say, oh, 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 you got a problem here. What did you do wrong? So that means I typed it wrong. So let me go do it again. 
Okay, now you can see that I'm in. So sometimes you're gonna make a mistake in your typing. Okay, so now that I'm in here, the next thing that I wanna do is now go to my commands. So remember, I'm using I'm using my um, Linux application to type in a command. So the first command it wants me to type in is it wants me to type in lab C L I review dash review start. So let's go ahead and put that command in. This is fun times, people. This is fun times. I'm hoping you enjoying yourself out there with this because this is really where you want to be and you having fun now. You get a chance to work on many different devices and that's what you want. As you can see, it says, hey, professor, you successful. You, you are in now. Okay, so now as you saw, I'm gonna screen it up. I'm gonna put them side by side so you can see exactly what I'm doing on one side. So now we can see, I wanna show you some things that will help you if you have problems and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the first thing I want you to do, remember that document that I downloaded? I'm going to see if I can pull it right back up. Here's the document right here. I'm going to use this document, this same document, to show my professor that I'm actually out here doing work. So I'm going to click at the bottom of the document and go to the second page. I'm going to keep a copy of this document because I'm going to use it multiple times. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to title this document chapter one two three and it can be an extremely long document because what you're going to do is put your attachments onto this document some students are really good at this they break it down really simple and break it up but for chapter one assignments i'm gonna just drop it on this document so since i was successful in this i want to show my professor that i was I'm going to go to one of my little snippet tools. This is my snippet tool right here. And it allowed me to get screenshots of my device. So as you can see, once I clicked on my snippet tool, I was able to go get a screenshot of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this particular screenshot. I'm going to save it to the desktop right here. And I'm going to upload that screenshot into my document. I'm going to just give it a, a phony name. I'm just going to put a number one in front of it and then I'm going to say save and I'm going to close it. Now what I will do then is bring my document over here that I want to put that in and all I do is implant it in there. I'll simply go to uh, insert, say picture, of course I'll say desktop and from there I will choose the screenshot and there it is right there and voila there is the screenshot of the work I just did and I'll just keep going down and showing my professor one after another after another for chapter one then I open up a new document and do one after another and another for chapter two now you can actually come back to your course which is right here and go to your assignments section as a student click on your assignment section and then you can upload the document so you click on file you go to computer you go upload and then you just upload the document find it on your computer and upload it i don't have to go through all the tedious steps because you already know it and this video has got massively long so i want to shorten this video now, a couple of things I also want to point out is this here. You have an exam in here. Make sure you knock your exam out, but you have to go through the first three chapters to do your exam. So make sure you do that. I already told you about the um, about the different uh, Linux classes so you can get a certification in it. So I told you about that. Uh, I showed you where you'll go get your work in and have it completed and that's basically it now as we proceed on every week I'm gonna throw it come in here and do some work I'm gonna have it laid out set up and do some work with some commands and explain the commands to you but I just want to make sure we in our third day I want to make sure that you understand what you're doing and for the most part most of you got it you understand what to do but 
I want to make sure I step in and make sure you are on point. This is Professor Sistra. I hope that this video is helpful. If not, reach out to me and we'll walk over some things together. With that being said, sayonara.